<laughs> Sorry guys for fooling around, I just wanted to do that. But hey, welcome to my movie review. So today I'll be talking about a recent film that just released called Kimi Tachi wa Dou Ikiru ka or How Do You Live by Hao Miyazaki from Studio Ghibli. And if you know Hao Miyazaki, yes, he has come back again with his new latest film. And、uh, I think the last film was created、uh, 10 years ago,、um, The Wind Rises, Kaze Tachi Nu. And at the same time, that same year, he announced himself to retire from making films, long length films, because of his age. And he thought that it was a good timing for him to really pass on the torch and leave his legacy as it is. But After a couple of years later, he decided to return back and say, Hey, I just wanted to make this another film that I got interested, which I'd love to show of my perspective and show because I love this book called Kimi Tachi wa Dou Ikiru ka of this same title of this movie. I just want to say, I was amazed by his act. To move to create his film when he, he was already his late 70s. Because if I was in his similar age, I'll be like, nope, I am going to relax and chill and just give pass the torch to the younger generation because they make the film and I've shown enough of my work and I'm satisfied with it. It's like I just felt like remembered of Ugwe from the Kung Fu Panda and him saying, like, My time has come. So,、um, I just want to say shout outs to Hao Miyazaki for even wanting to create more new interesting films, which was this one. Also,、um, I just want to point out before going to this review is this movie had zero information about what, is going, what the story is going to be. I mean,、um, even over the past few months, there w a s no trailers or additional posters. And、uh, I think the, the posters we only got was the visual poster of the, the film, which is the thumbnail you just watched. So, the film. Kimi tachi wa dou ikiru ka, or how do I live? How was it, you might want to say or ask? I would say,、um, to be honest, this is one of also his best or greatest films that he ever created, and it is a meaningful story that will connect in a deeper level. And it is a very interesting film, in a good way, of course. <laughs> Um, if I would start from the visuals,、um, as always, Hao Miyazaki has an interesting way to show his world of fantasy. Of, for instance,、um, this film has a lot of sceneries in different types of ways, and it is shown beautifully, sometimes creepy, sometimes nice and cute. But at the same time, it all has these elements to feel. Not from his perspective, but also to feel the audience that, how to say,、um, to make his story world more broad and, and vast and feels real. That you kind of feel like this is what he wants to show from his perspective, from his mind. Also, I have never thought about when I was watching it 10 years ago, but seeing now as, as an adult.、Um, His, I do love his ways of showing a、uh, of film of not only, through, only by dialogue but also through visuals. Like, if you see this film, you, you will be focused on watching,、uh, listening to the dialogue. But also, if you look around behind the characters, what they see, what they are doing, you can also see the story behind this world, this vast world that's how Miyazaki is showing. And Just putting out the details, these details, it is very sometimes very important because it can have some meaning to what this world is showing. Speaking of dialogue,、um, the story of this film is, has a deep core connected to the original novel,、uh, which has the same title. 
So, Kimi tachi wa dou ikiru ka, or how do you live, was is a 90 year old、uh, novel、uh, created by、uh, Genzaburo Yoshino and which tells the story about a 10 year old kid living in the late 1940s of experiencing some of his、um, experiences like bullying or the ways to、uh, being betrayed by people in the time of during consumerism. Through his uncle's perspective of way of how people will live and how people should live in a way. And he learns from that and coming to his own answer of what people should live, which comes to the title back again. And to be honest,、um, I will be honest to say the novel itself, the story, has no connection to this film. So, how Miyazaki, Miyazaki really wanted to create this film. Um, originally, and even though he said to himself that he was inspired by the book, I think that it was more like, as sorry, he was he was inspired by the book, but he was more invested of what he wants to tell from his meaning of how do you live from his tale. And、um, there is a particular scene that I love、uh, when I was watching it. When I was watching, and this film s o w s that, oh, this is the point where he wants to show his meaning of how do you want to live, how do you live. At the same time,、um, this movie tells not only about how to live, but also the meaning of life and death、uh, through Miyazaki's perspective, as this film will show how life is and what death represents. And also at the same time,、um, what is the meaning of living and what's the meaning of preserving legacy really connects about. Overall, I really enjoyed watching this film. And to be honest, I would like to re watch it again because、um, there is so many information just coming in for this two hour long movie. And、um, I just want to say that the first half is very slow and Is very well done in creating the world building and to know about the characters and to know about what the world is about. But at the same time, when you get after to the later part, which is the most interesting part of this whole entire movie, there's so much information told, and you'll feel like not this is more than two hours. Like the real feel is that you feel like, oh, this feels like a three hour movie, but it is like a two hour, it, which is actually a two hour long movie. So Um, just get ready for an interesting journey about life. And at the same time, I just want to, when I watch this, after watching this film, I feel like this kind of feels an, a last movie from Miyazaki because not only he's getting old, but I feel like watching this film,、um, he, it has all his combination of his legacy and all his traits of his. Of his previous work into this into this movie, but also this movie tells about life. And I think his way of telling what life is and how to live is kind of a sending a send of love to his fans, the audience, or people inspired by him of how to live your own way. And it's good to live in your own way. And it really, this movie really taught me of. What's life is in a very good way, and I hope it will inspire you, you watching this movie. So,、um, I'm sorry I'm making a very、uh, choppy way of explaining this because I would want to tell you about what the film is, but it is、um, because it just released recently, and I don't want to spoil all the s-、uh, interesting stuff. And I know I've heard that the,、um, the English dub version. Or maybe the English version will be released、uh, in the US, I think, if I saw the news during later this year. So hopefully, you will have the chance to see this movie because it is an extraordinary and it is, I think, one of the, be- one of the best Miyazaki films that he ever created. And hopefully, you will love it. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and、uh, make sure to like this video after you watch this. And if you're new, still please subscribe as I will do more movie reviews for this channel. And also, I do love 
to do a lot of traveling videos as I love to show you guys what's around in Japan and uh, let me know down in the comment section of are you interested of watching this new film how do you think or if you watched it no spoilers but what would what did you thought about watching this film let me know thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye